All right, good morning, everybody. This is the Fantasy Sports Boss with another video for you. Make sure you hit that subscribe, hit that notification button so you're made aware when new videos are added. I want, I think we should get to know um, James Mitchell, the rookie tight end for the Detroit Lions, uh, a little better as we go uh, uh, from this point forward to week nine through the rest of the season. The reason why is because, of course, the Lions just traded uh, TJ Hawkinson, their Pro Bowl tight end, to the Minnesota Vikings. Um, this past Tuesday, and that now opens up the starting uh, tight end position to possibly Mitchell, the fifth round pick from Virginia Tech that the Lions made this past April. Now, uh, as many as you, uh, many of you already know, I do a uh, annual NFL draft guide book where I talk about all the prospects and analyze them and their strengths and weaknesses and whatnot. Um, and certainly, I had Mitchell uh, in the guide as well. And there was a lot of things that um, I noted about Mitchell that, you know, were, were certainly uh, friendly to the NFL game. And, and um, you know, I thought that he de certainly had some ability offensively. And this is what I wrote uh, in, in this past um, April's guide. It was a surprise that Virginia Tech junior tight end James Mitchell decided to come out early and enter into the 2022 NFL draft after he missed almost the entire 2021 season due to a knee injury. Keep in mind, though, that prior to last season, Mitchell was on many key preseason watch lists due to his rare ability as a tight end to score both as a runner and a receiver. With seven scores through the air and five on the ground in his career at Virginia Tech, Mitchell has a unique skill set that will intrigue many clubs sometime early on day three. And of course, he goes in the fifth round, uh, which, you know, uh, I guess was uh, towards the earlier part, uh, the early middle uh, uh, area of the day three uh, draft. <clears throat> and, you know, again, what really stood out to me about Mitchell is that he was a contributor, uh, both catching the football and running it. And very rarely do you see tight ends used on jet sweeps or take handoffs. But this is what Mitchell did at Virginia Tech. Now, I'm not saying he's going to do that with the Lions, um, but it shows you that he has uh, a nose for the end zone and he has the ability to pick up yardage. Uh, so, you know, with a gaping hole now at the starting tight end position, I think James Mitchell is somebody we need to watch. I don't think we need to run out and pick him up. But given the utter, dis, you know, disaster, for lack of a better term, that is the tight end position uh, this season and most seasons, and with, you know, uh, a bunch of bye weeks coming up for a lot of teams, six teams on a bye this week, I think Mitchell is somebody that we at least need to monitor. I mean, look what happened with Greg Dulcich, you know. Uh, he he came off the injured list and immediately started contributing to the Broncos, and now everybody picked him up, and he's being used now liberally. Do, can this happen with James Mitchell? Absolutely it can, because now there's a need for another option behind Amon Ross St. Brown now that TJ Hawkinson has been traded. So uh, James Mitchell, with his offensive ability, can be that guy. So make sure we just keep an eye on James Mitchell. All right, again, hit the subscribe, hit the notification button. More videos on the way.